Welcome. All right, so in this course, what we're going to be doing is simplifying rational expressions. And not only in this course, but you know, we're going to be applying this to all different types of courses, uh, or all different types of problems within this course as well. So it's very important for us to understand you know, how are we going to simplify rational expressions. So to do this, you know, the most common way that I like to uh, go about this is go about how do we reduce fractions. Now, remember, if, we have a, um, if we're looking at a fraction and we say a whole number, that is larger in the numerator than the denominator, we know that this 2 evenly divides into the 4. So I can simplify that just by writing the number 2. Or we could even simplify it. It's keeping it as a fraction as 2 over 1. Um, however, a lot of students sometimes even you know, forget. A lot of times they get confused if instead now my denominator is larger than my numerator. Well, again, we can still simplify this because we notice that the numerator and the denominator, we can both divide out a number 3. So by doing that, I can reduce this by dividing the top and bottom by 3. Therefore, I have 1 fifth. So this fraction, 3, 3 fifteenths, can be reduced down to 1 fifth, where their ratio is going to be equivalent. But now when we're talking about rational expressions, we're going to be talking about the division of polynomials, right? The sum of one or more monomials, not just doing with numeric, fraction, uh, numeric numbers or numeric numbers or numeric values. So when simplifying rational expressions, we're going to be kind of doing the exact same thing. Um, but even more important, we're also going to be using some you know, properties of exponents as well. But let's, I'll just kind of get um, through some without doing the properties of exponents. And just so you can kind of get an idea of exactly what, what I'm talking about. So you know, for instance, I'll just do a couple basic examples. Here, you, you can kind of see how we would simplify you know, a regular fraction of numbers. But now, what if I just add the 3x divided by the 15x? Okay. So in this case, we're still going to divide. But now I have x divided by x, which is going to be 1. So this can be reduced down to 1 fifth um, as well. But now, let's go and change this up again. And let's do 3x squared divided by 15x. Well, now we're going to have to apply the properties of exponents, which I said I wasn't going to do, but I decided, you know what, it'd be a good idea. So if I was going to reduce this rational expression, I still reduce 3 over 15, which we know is 1 fifth. But now to reduce x squared divided by x, um, we use our property of exponents to subtract the exponents, which again, this has a 1. Um, or you're going to say x divides an x squared x times. So you can read write as 1 fifth x. We could also make sure that that x is in the numerator, though. So it's really an up top. So we could really simplify this to just as an x over 5 um, in the case would be another, um, another way to write that. Now, when simplifying rational expressions, it's not just going to be um, reduced to um, these different monomials up top. We can also simplify our rational expressions if we have Let's say 3 now times x plus 1 divided by 15 x plus 1. All right. Now, in this case, you can see that just like how we had the x and the x, now I have an x plus 1 and an x plus 1. But since those expressions are exactly the same, I reduce my number value just like I would in all my examples. But now the x plus 1s and the x plus 1s, those divide out to 1 as well. So I'm just going to be left with the 1 fifth. Now, what we're going to be doing in this case is our whole purpose of when we're simplifying our rational expressions is to, re to write our rational expressions where we can apply this division property to divide out our expressions in the most simplified answer. And so a lot of times, we're going to be given some polynomials that we're maybe going to have to factor um, or just maybe look to rewrite them so we can go ahead um, and apply um, our division property. So this is just a brief little overview of some basic simplifying rational expressions. What we're going to do is we're going to, again, we're going to manipulate a lot of these rational expressions by factoring so we can rewrite them as a product and then simplify each expression by using this division property where these terms divide out or by using the properties of exponents to simplify. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify rational expressions. Thanks.